OK, this is an experiment just to see how many times I can copy a recording made from a Sony PCMF1 on a VHS tape onto another VHS tape and then copy that copy and so on and so on before the, the sound quality starts to deteriorate from the uh, PCMF1. So what I'm going to do is play the original PCMF1 recording that I made last time in this machine while recording it on a new tape, well, an old blank tape in this one, while at the same time monitoring the audio output. I'll then swap the tapes over, so I'm playing the copy on this machine and recording yet again on this one, so that'll then be a second generation copy, and I'll just keep repeating that process back and forth until we hear any noticeable deterioration in sound quality from the F1. Unfortunately my uh, PCM F1 seems to have developed a slight fault since I used it last. These two segments on the level bar graph seem to be permanently lit up slightly and the bottom two are as well when the level moves up here you can see these bottom two are slightly lit up as well but it doesn't seem to affect the way the unit works so I'm not too worried about that for the purposes of um, this experiment so without further ado let's put the original tape in there and the new blank tape in there and we shall start recording on there and uh, just so I know where I am, I'll wait for the counter to get... because I haven't got the remote for this machine, so I can't reset the counter. So I'll wait for the counter to get to 10 minutes, and then I'll hit play on the playback machine. There we are, 10 minutes, so start playback. The sound you hear will be a direct feed from the audio outputs from the PCM F1. OK, that's one copy, so I'll stop that and wind that back to the 10 minute mark. Well, take that out of there, take that out of there. So, that goes in there, that goes in there. Start recording on there. So this will be a first generation copy. Well, surprisingly, I heard a little bit of a crackle on that one. I honestly thought it would do better than that. It's only one generation copy and it started to deteriorate. Let's hit play. So this is a second copy.
Well, that sounded terrible. That was unusable, really. But uh, we'll go another generation. That one's quicker to eject, isn't it? Third generation copy. Well, that was basically just noise, with maybe a little hint of audio right down in the background. Should we go one more generation? Come on, sort yourself out, Sharp. At this point I realise I've actually lost count. Is this number four or number five? Can't remember, anyway. We're already at the 10 minute mark, so let's hit play. That's basically nothing, just basically a little bit of crackling, so I don't think that test's worth continuing. So, there we go. So it was a very surprising result for me. So, on the first copy from the original, there was some noise. It was perfectly listenable. There was no... you, you could easily listen to that, but there was noise on it. Then the second copy, so the copy of that copy, was then completely unusable. You could hear it was music, but it was really noisy. You wouldn't really want to listen to it. The copy of that copy was then just just noise, really, basically, with a hint of music in the background. And then on the fourth generation copy, the PCMF one just basically couldn't pick anything up at all, really. It's just the odd crackle. Oh, well, that was an interesting little experiment, wasn't it? Thank you very much for watching. Surprising result there.